Hello future designers, welcome to another tutorial ABCD, anybody can develop. Okay, so today we'll be going through some of the um, tools or menus here, so like the selects and then the windows and view. So first of all, let's do this um, from the edits, okay, so edits, um, we'll go to um, settings, or oh, sorry, preferences and then select general, okay. So um, I usually leave this um, to default settings, um, then what I usually change here is the smart guide. Okay. Okay. So it's the smart guide. We just, you can change the color here to any color. Okay. So let's see. I want red. Now click OK. Okay. So what the smart guide is going to do is, um, suppose to, let's see, you can see, so you can see we have this red. This is trying to give you some, um, positioning. It's trying to align the objects. Okay. So you can see this red red lines okay so that's what the smart guide does okay so let's go back to smart um, edits and go to preferences click general and then uh you have also you have the ruler great guides and grid but um let's go to user interface okay so user interface is just like this um the color for the ui if you want this uh you see uh, i really don't like this so i like this option okay then just select okay Okay, so you can select from these four and just select okay so now the other thing we'll do is so you can see these shapes okay so um we want these ones to have the same color so let's say you have patterns and uh, you'd want you don't want to click on every pattern to make changes what you can do is uh, you use the select instead of smart tool and then just click on same and go to any of the options so here we can use fill and stroke so fill and stroke so you can see fill and stroke um let me see let me give it a color i selected this um this isn't what i wanted so i'm going to select um, go to the select menu and then go to same and then choose fill and stroke okay it's still selecting this uh, it's not supposed to be so and go to select again and i'm going to same and let's choose um let's say fill color then let me give it this color value let's still select this so i'm going to delete this and let's see what happens okay so i'm going to select go to same and then choose fill and stroke none was selected let's see something Oops, uh, what is happening today Okay, so what I'm going to do, let me go to select again, or better still, let me just try drawing a different shape. Different shapes. And then I'll give them different colors. Okay, so let's say we have several of these shapes. Uh, what you can do, and we don't want to go through them trying to edit them, we just go to same and let's choose appearance. Okay, so this have the same appearance, and then uh, we can just change the color. Okay, and that's it. So let's say you have several of these scattered across or um, on your canvas. Uh, you wouldn't want to go through the pain of editing each and every one of them. One of them. Okay. So um, I don't know why this isn't working. Let me try resizing it and see what will happen. I'm going to select again. Uh, I'm going to same and then select um, fill and stroke. Okay, so it has this one. So have the same fill and then the same stroke. So I can work on this. Okay, give it a color. Okay, so basically that's what uh, I was trying to achieve or let us know. Um, aside that, uh, let's go to the view. Okay, so the view, we can enable some. So let's say we go to ruler or rulers and then show rulers. Okay, so we have our rulers sh shown. Okay, you can go and then um, um, also smart guide. You can disable the smart guide. Okay, so when I move, we don't have any smart guide there. Okay. So let's go to view and then I'm going to enable the smart guide. Okay, so when I, you can see now we have the guides appearing. Uh, let's go to view. Where am I, where's the ruler? Ruler, ruler, ruler. Okay, so rulers and then 
um, hide rulers okay so no rulers again uh, is there any other option that i'd want us to know uh guides okay so let's do show grid okay so grid okay maybe you want to do something uh so i say isometric it might come in handy for certain projects okay um i'm going to i don't usually don't use grid so i'm going to take the grid off there's a grid hide grid okay now let's go to windows and then let's see okay so you can see the tools here the two tools here okay um if some of them aren't showing you can just come to windows and then enable them so tools my tool here is set to basic okay so if i want more tools i'll just go to advanced so windows tools and then select advanced okay so you can see now i have a whole set of um, tools here you can go back and then change it to basic basic here you can also bring out some of the tools like the align tool so you can see we have the align tool pathfinder transform okay you can close it or even position it anywhere you want on the screen uh, you can even take some of them out okay separate them then arrange them on the screen okay so let's see which other two so uh, let's see so color swatch the color color swatch color swatch color swatch where's the color swatch okay the swatches okay so you can see we have the color swatches here with the symbols brushes and swatches okay so you can close it so, so that's what uh, we want to achieve with this um that's this session okay so thank you for watching see you on next tutorial thank you